Now, this function is super useful in Python when you need to count how many times each item appears in a list, and you want to do it cleanly, without writing a bunch of repetitive code. So, let's say our intern was working on analyzing user feedback. He had a list of responses submitted by users who were rating their experience with the app. Now his job was to count how many users gave each type of response, basically figure out how many said good, how many said bad, and so on. At first, he went the traditional way. He created an empty dictionary and used a for loop to count manually. So here's what he was doing. For each response in the list, he checked if it already existed as a key in the counts dictionary. If it did, he incremented the count. If not, he added it to the dictionary and started the count at one. So when he ran the program, he got the count of each rating as the output. So it worked, but the code felt a bit long for such a simple task. He realized he was writing more lines than needed just to do something as basic as counting. So we showed him a cleaner and more efficient way using a counter function from the collections module. So first, he imported the counter class from the collections module. Then he passed the response list directly to the counter function. And just like that, counter automatically did all the work. It looped through the list, counted how many times each unique item appeared, and returned a special dictionary-like object with the result. So when he again ran the program, he got the count of each feedback. So what started as a multi-line manual counting loop turned into just two lines with counter, and the result was not only more efficient, but also much easier to read and maintain. 